Hey there, Nick Lee here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about how DevOps utilizes the Agile method to help teams optimize their workflow. Before we begin, want to learn more about Power BI? Visit prag.work slash nick40 and you'll get a 40% discount on an annual on-demand learning subscription and you'll get access to over 100 courses. Now on to the video. So Agile is a flexible approach to project management that prioritizes collaboration, adaptability, and delivering value in small iterative increments. It empowers teams to respond quickly to changes, gather feedback, and continuously improve throughout the whole development process. So Agile isn't necessarily a methodology, it's more of a principle. And within this Agile principle, there are several different methodologies. Two of those methodologies I'd like to point out, Scrum and Kanban. Scrum is one of the most widely used Agile frameworks. It divides work into small, manageable units called user stories. And those user stories are then prioritized in the backlog. Then the team works in short iterations called sprints to complete those user stories. In Scrum, there's daily stand-up meetings, sprint planning, sprint review, and sprint retrospective. All of those are uh, essential elements of the Scrum framework. Kanban focuses on visualizing the workflow and limiting the amount of work in progress tasks. Now these tasks are represented on a Kanban board, which then move those tasks through various stages from to do to in progress and done. Teams use this visual representation to manage and optimize their workflow continuously. Now DevOps boards specifically, it blends elements from both Scrum and Kanban able to adapt to different team preferences. Now DevOps promotes teamwork, automation, and integration between development and operations for faster, higher quality software delivery. Now, these boards may borrow from Scrum sprints and ceremonies, focusing on specific tasks within set timeframes, and it can leverage Kanban's visual workflow to track progress from idea to deployment and optimizing efficiency, identifying bottlenecks, etc. All right, now, Let's get to a demonstration. So as you see on screen, I'm logged into my DevOps project at azure.com. So what we're going to do here is browse to the boards. Where we currently are located is at the overview section. So the board section is where the agile aspect comes into play. So if I select boards on the far left side, and from here, this is just displaying the regular work items that are currently in the active state. Now, if I go to this backlogs tab, in the backlogs tab, you can see that this is drilled into other type of work items. Now, what it shows here in the backlog area is work that still needs to be done. So, what we currently have on screen is that epic, which is the highest kind of level of uh, the hierarchy where user stories are involved. So this build class epic is this huge big project that I may have. Uh, so that is what this epic is. And if I drill into this epic, you can see that there are multiple features involved. And when there are multiple features involved, you can drill into those. Now, if I click on this one or this one, you see it drills even further. And now we get to the user story level. These user stories is where the primary work aspects are gonna start getting done. Within these user stories, there are tasks involved. So you could see of how this kind of hierarchical level utilization in the backlog is being used from this kind of scrum approach that we talked about earlier. And we can actually dig into these different user stories, tasks, etc., and glean more information. So for instance, if I click on this user story, it's going to pop up a, a pop-up window with more information about this user story. You can see it's assigned to me, Nick Lee. There's a comment that a really cool person left on there. There's a description, acceptance criteria, criteria how many story points it's worth, et cetera. All different aspects of our agile method and scrum methodology being utilized here to get the most out of this user story. On the bottom right side, if you look over here, then you can see that there are any of the related work items to this specific work 
user story. So the related work items to this user story are the build out DevOps demo items as a parent, which is a feature. And then there are three child tasks involved with it. And now we can also navigate the backlog from here and see those hierarchical levels set up here. So for instance, if I click on uh, set up this story points uh, task, you can see I haven't, there hasn't been much information put in here yet, uh, but this is just a task that's saying we can glean the information on it that is that it is completed. And I could drill back up to the previous user story. You see all these items are closed on here. That just means that they're they're completed or done. And uh, but yes, so you're able to kind of browse through your backlog utilizing this related work items on the bottom right side. I'm gonna go ahead and close this window and so we can look a little bit more at our different backlog items. Uh, there are, there is also a way to navigate this hierarchy by drilling up, drilling down everything or drilling up everything all at once. It is utilizing this plus and minus sign on the far left side. So if I click this plus sign, it's gonna drill open uh, one level. If I click it again, it's gonna drill open again another level. And I'm currently at the bottom level and I can drill back up by hitting the minus sign, hit the minus sign, hit the minus sign, drills all the way back up to the epic. Now it would be common here to see multiple epics, multiple features, multiple user stories being spread across multiple different little hierarchical levels here in the backlog, but this is just an example that I have on screen here. So this is a good example of the Scrum aspect of the Scrum methodology that's being utilized here in DevOps. And now let's talk about how the Scrum methodology and the Kanban board, Kanban board are being used simultaneously together here. So if I click on this boards tab on the left side, and I know it can be a little confusing because we're already in the boards tab, but there's another tab that says boards. Uh, we're going to click on the extra tab that says boards here underneath the highest level boards. We kind of see similar to what we saw before where we see our epic at the highest level first. And if I click on this epic, which is currently in this active tab, you can see it has those related work items on the bottom right. But I digress. I'm going to go ahead and close this window to kind of show you guys a little bit more. So you can kind of see here in this Kanban board, this epic item from the backlog is currently in the active state, which means it's currently being worked on. If it, if it is going to be marked as not being worked on yet, it would be over here in the new column. You see how it's now marked new. Well, let's say, all right, I'm gonna start working on this epic now. I haven't started working on it at all yet. I'll drag it over to the active side. And then once I've completed all of the tasks within it, I would move this over to the resolve side. The resolve side is saying, hey, I finished it. Now we just need to validate this or can someone kind of check up, check my work and make sure it's done right. And then once it's at that stage, then you can move the epic over to closed. But I'm gonna move it back to active for now. And on the top right, there's a drop down. You see where it says epics? Well, you can look further down in the hierarchy here. So I'm gonna click it and then look at the features tab. And you can see that in the hierarchy, these are the different features tabs. You see one of them is set to close, one of them set to active, one of them sets to new. And remember the one that's set to new hasn't been started working on yet. If I click that drop down again, I can actually see all the individual user stories that are available. And, and here I see all the user stories. And now this is where you get to be spending most of the time as a developer is in these actual user stories and utilizing this board, moving your items across from, uh, from new to active to resolve to closed. Uh, and you can actually kind of check off tasks here that are in uh, the user stories area. As you can see, there's a little golden gray, golden checkbox on the bottom left of some of these user stories. So for instance, if I click on this uh, golden checkbox area here, you can see that me, myself as a, as a developer here, and I've gone through here, I'm working on this user story, I've clicked on two of these tasks to mark that, okay, I've completed two out of the three tasks that need to be done here. Once I click the third one, I can move it along my board or my Kanban board or my task board. Uh, we typically call it a task board in DevOps, not necessarily a Kanban board because it's not necessarily exactly the same. It's kind of its own take on a Kanban board. So we typically call it a task board. Anyways, so once I've hit it, 
once I have completed all three tasks, I would move it along the track, as you would expect from this kind of Kanban board or task board methodology. In conclusion, remember the core principles of collaboration, adaptability, and continuous improvement in DevOps and Agile. The Agile methodologies we've discussed can and will empower your team to modern development processes with confidence. Now, thanks for joining me, and may your efforts in DevOps and Agile bring you success.